Dozens of animals rescued from filthy conditions. Investigators say a woman who's running an animal rescue, but these pets she rescued are actually the ones who needed to be saved. News 6's Carolina Cardona has more from Flagler County. We're inside the Flagler County Humane Society where they're now caring for more than 40 dogs and cats that were recently rescued from a Palm Coast home. The executive director tells me most of them have arrived with skin and respiratory issues. The upper respiratory infections, if left untreated, you can see where her eyes are compromised. There's um, intestinal parasites. Um, some of them are pretty thin. Some of them have diarrhea. On Wednesday, Flagler County Sheriff deputies rescued dozens of kittens and puppies from what authorities say were deplorable conditions inside a house in Palm Coast. Lots of complaints through the years of adopting out animals uh, that have become ill. Uh, I know Flagler Animal Services definitely received lots of complaints with that and they've done their due diligence and they've done their investigations. It's just very difficult to make a case and put a case together. Detectives say the owner had been operating a nonprofit animal rescue from the home where they also found dozens of bottles of old and new prescription medications they say was being sold illegally. When we executed the search warrant, there was a lot of medications. Um, there were some that were controlled. What kind of narcotics was she selling? A prescription medications. Um, like? There were a lot of antibiotics um, in large quantities. Um, some I explained early on that were uh, predominantly for animals. However, there were some that can be used also in people. So far, no arrest has been made. As for the animals rescued, they'll remain at the Flagler County Humane Society. The executive director said when looking for a pet, notice the red flags. Anybody that wants to meet you someplace other than where the animals are housed might be hiding something. Make sure you know who you're giving stuff to who you're giving money to, who, what non-for-profit, just because it's a non-for-profit doesn't necessarily mean that it's above board. And obviously in this case, and I'm sure there's other cases uh, out there of animal cruelty for human gain. And uh, the drug factor is just terrible. In Flagler County, Carolina Cardona, News 6.